Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to sign in and create an Optimus Flow account, and I'll be showing you how to access your different licenses on the backend portal. Now, for all of you existing users, the next time you update your platform and log in or open up Optimus Flow, you'll be prompted to log into an account. Now, for all you new users, this will be the first step in the process that you'll run into upon initially opening up Optimus Flow. So either way, if you already do have an account, you're more than welcome to sign in within the initial login screen here. If you've re-downloaded the platform, uninstalled it, using it on a new computer, you'll need to re-sign in here. For all of those new users that do not have an account yet, simply click on the Get Started button down in the bottom right. Now from there, we'll need to enter in your email address, choose yourself a password, and then enter in your full name. Once you have all the available information typed out, click on the I agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. You're more than welcome to click on this if you'd like to read it and then go ahead and click on create an account. Now, after just a few seconds here, it'll be uh, submitted and you'll be prompted to confirm your email address. Now, keep in mind, and as this message says, make sure to check your spam box in case it gets filtered. We have ran into situations in the past where users do not receive this email simply because it gets sent over to spam. It's really easy to miss and depending on your email provider, it will be spent, potentially be sent to spam. So just keep that in mind if you're not seeing it. Now I'm going to fast forward here and once we receive the email from the Optimus Flow team, we'll go ahead and pick up on the video where we left off. Okay, welcome back. We've now received the email from Optimus Flow Accounts and we're ready to confirm our email address. So simply click on this email that we've received here and then go ahead and click on the confirm my email button. Once you've done so, this will bring you over to the portal and you'll be able to log in and access your account dashboard. We'll get back to this in just one second. For now, let's minimize my window and let's go ahead and sign into the account I created. So all we need to do is type in my email address, the password I've chosen, and click on sign me in. Now, once you do so in just a second, after our system automatically registers and verifies your account, Optimus Flow should automatically open up. And it's actually opening up in my other window. Okay, there we go. And now we'll just need to connect to our data feed and everything should be up and running as expected. Now we do have a video covering how to establish a connection to either rhythmic or random data. So if you are a first time user and do need an instructional tutorial on how to connect to a data feed, please check out our YouTube playlist and refer to that video. All right. So now that we've knocked that out of the way, let's head on to the next, next subject of this video. Like I mentioned before, the Optimus flow profile is not only to initially log into the platform, but it can be also used to manage your license keys on Optimus Flow. If you'd like to ask, access your licenses, all you need to do is head up to the top right-hand corner of the platform window. Within the toolbar here, click on your profile icon and then click on manage. This will bring you to the following website, the Optimus Flow portal here. Simply type in your email address that you registered with and the password that you chose for yourself. If you don't remember your password, you can choose the forgot password option. Continuing on, once you have everything entered in, go ahead and click on sign me in here and it'll bring you into your Optimus Flow profile. If you need to edit any info, you can do so at this time by clicking on the edit info button. You can also change your password here as well if you'd like to change it to something else. In terms of add-ons and different licenses, at the time this video was created, there actually is not a payment option because this was created during beta stage. Now, for those of you that do plan on using this live after beta, you will have the option of purchasing different licenses if you do want to upgrade your platform package. So there, at this time, there are two different packages, the professional and all-in-one package. Like I mentioned, once we go live, you'll have the ability to go ahead and click on buy here and then choose a payment option. Subscribe to a monthly payment, a six month payment, three month or a year payment, and then go ahead and start your recurring subscription from there. As of right now, it is a bit bare bones, but for those of your users that are just getting started, you will need an Optimus Flow profile in order to start with the platform. So just keep that in mind. You can also check your payment history down at the bottom. And other than that, 
that's about it for your Optimus Flow profile. It's all in one lo convenient location and you can access it straight from the platform. So if you do have any questions on this, please drop a comment in the comment section down below or head over to our description. You're more than well welcome to post a question on our community forum, which is linked down in the description. It's community.optimusfutures.com. If there's anything else we can help you with, please let us know. If you haven't tried Optimus Flow yet and you'd like to try the demo, it is linked down below as well, so keep that in mind. As always, thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful, and thanks for watching.